Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tarenikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, new day, new topic. And our today's topic is a remote terminal unit that is RTU part 11C. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the topic of engineering project and instrumentation and control engineering. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest upload on our video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is a remote terminal unit RTU part 11C. Introduction to remote terminal unit. An RTU sometimes referred to as a remote telemetry unit. As the title implies, it is a standalone data acquisition and a control unit generally microprocessor based which monitors and control equipment at some remote location from the central location that is central station rtus are used to convert electronic signal received from or required by field instrumentation into the communication protocol that is used to transmit the data over a network rtu appears in the field as a box in a switchboard with electrical signal wires running to field instrumentation and a cable link to a communication channel interface such as a telephone cable, a field bus or a radio. An RTU monitors the field digital and analog parameters and transmit data to a SCADA master station. It runs setup software to connect data input stream to data output stream, define communication protocols and troubleshoot installation problem in the field. An RTU may consist of one complex circuit card consisting of a various sections needed to do a custom fitted function or may be consist of many circuit cards including CPU or processing with a communication interfaces and one more to the following that is analog input, digital input, digital output CO that is a digital output or a control relay output or analog output card etc. Small RTUs generally have fewer than 10 to 20 analog and a digital signal input Medium size RTUs have 100 digital and 30 to 40 analogs input signal and any RTU with more signal input than this is referred to as a large RTU. This is all about the introduction of the RTU. Moving on to architecture of a remote terminal unit. The typical RTU hardware module includes the following. For that one has to refer the Log diagram of the RTU system. One can see the RTU that is the main RTU and associated components are connected. That is a modem and RTU that is a radio receiver antenna. Similarly, optional output programmer station, programmable terminal, or optional programmable logic controller connected to this. And central bus is connected with a power supply central processing unit. Volatile memory, non volatile memory, analog input module, analog output module, digital input module, digital output, and these details we will see one by one. First, power supply. Power supply will be included for operation from the AC mains for various components are CPU, status waiting voltage, and other interfaces card. May consist of AC to DC converter where operated from a station battery system. RTU may also include battery and charger circuitry to continue operation in event of AC power failure where a station battery is not available. Second one that is a digital inputs. Most RTUs incorporate an input section or input status card to acquire two state real world information. This is usually accomplished by using an isolated voltage or a current source to sense the position of a remote contact that is open or close at the RTU site. Third, analog inputs. A RTU can monitor analog inputs 
of a different types including 0 to 1 milliamp 4 to 20 milliamp current loop 0 to 10 volt plus minus 2.5 volt plus minus 5 volt etc many rtu inputs buffer larger quantities via transducer to convert and isolate real world quantities from sensitive rtu input levels fourth digital control relay output rtus may drive high current capacity relays to a digital output board to switch power on and off to devices in the field the do board switches voltage to the coil in the relay which closes the high current contact which completes the power circuit to the devices fifth analog outputs while not as a commonly used analog outputs may be included to the control devices that requires varying quantity such as the graphic recording instrument that is a strip chart summed or processed data quantities may be generated in a master scada system an output for display locally or remotely whenever needed six point software and logic control modern rtus are usually capable of executing simple program autonomously without involving host computers of the dcs or the scada system to simplify deployment and to provide redundancy for safety reasons an rtu in a modern water management system will typically have a code to modify its behavior when a physical override switches on the rtus are toggled during maintenance by maintenance personnel this is done for safety reason a miscommunication between the system operators and the maintenance personnel could cause system operator to mistakenly enable power to a water pump when it is being replaced for example maintenance person should have any equipment they are working on disconnected from power and locked to prevent the damage or injury seven communications an rtu may be interfaced to multiple master stations and id that is intelligent electronic devices with a different communication protocol usually serial rs232 rs485 rs422 or ethernet an rtu may support standard protocol modbus ic608705-101 103104 dnp3 ic608706-i ccp ic61850 etc to interface any third party software data transfer may be initiated from either end using various technique to ensure synchronization with minimal data tra traffic the master pole its subordinate unit that is the master to rtu or rtu to id for changes of a data on a periodic basis master communication master communication usually occurs between an rtu and a larger control system or a data collection system incorporated into a larger system data may be moved using copper fiber optic or radio frequency communication applications remote monitoring of functions and instrumentation for oil and gas offshore platform onshore oil well pump station on pipeline network of pump station wastewater collection or for water supply environmental monitoring system that is pollution air quality emission monitoring etc mine sites air traffic equipment such as a navigation aid dvor dme ils and gp remote monitoring and control function and instrumentation for hydrographic that is a water supply reservoir sewage systems electrical power transmission network and associated equipment natural gas network and associated equipment outdoor warning sirens and the biosphere 2 project rtu requirement that is a hardware individual rtu expandability typically up to 200 analog and digital outputs 
one can see the pictures of rtu and rtu terminal unit one off shelf module to maximum number of rtu side in a system shall be expandable to 255 numbers three robust operation failure of one module will not affect the performance of the other module fourth point minimization of a power consumption that is cmos can be an advantage fifth heat generation minimize sixth rugged and robust physical consideration seventh maximization of a noise immunity due to harsh environment eight temperature of minus 10 to 65 degree operational condition nine relative humidity up to 90 percent ten clear indication of a diagnostic eleven visible status leds twelve local fault diagnosis option 13 status of each io module and a channel program running failed communication okay fail 14 modules all connected to one common bus 15 physical interconnection of a modules to the bus shall be robust and suitable for use on harsh environment 16 ease of installation of a field wiring 17 ease of module replacement 18 removable screw terminal for disconnection and reconnection of wiring this is all about the typical hardware required for the rtu system environmental consideration the rtu is normally installed in a remote location with a harsh environmental condition one ambient temperature range of 0 to 60 degree celsius but the specification of minus 30 degree to 60 degree are not uncommon Two storage temperature range of minus twenty degree to plus seventy degree Celsius. Three relative humidity of zero to ninety five percent, non condensing. Fourth surge without stand capability to withstand power surge typically two point five kilovolt one megahertz for two second with one fifty ohm source impedance. Fifth other requirement include dust. vibration rain salt and fog protection software and firmware first compatibility check of a software configuration of a hardware against actual hardware available to log kept of all error that occur in the system both from external event and internal faults three remote access of all error logs and status register four software operate continuously despite powering down or up of the system due to loss of power supply or other fault fifth hardware filtering provided on all analog input channel sixth application program resides in on volatile memory that is a ram configuration and a diagnostic tools for system setup hardware and software setup error log remote and local operation application code development management operation so this is all about the r2 hardware requirement so far in this video we have seen introduction to rtu architecture of rtu and their each part and hardware and a software requirement maybe this information is little difficult to understand as this its subject itself is a very critical and please watch the video completely try to correlate the parts with the block diagram and refer latest client specification about the rtu design and hardware requirement with this we are concluding on our today's topic that is rtu with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and
keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.